All right, so the guys stepped it up with some energy in this game. Yeah, I thought they uh, they played great. Um, you know, we uh, uh, executed plays. You know, we called out, so we got into stuff. Uh, we didn't take too many of the, the quick shots uh, that we've been trying to eliminate. Uh, and then defensively, you know, the, the start of the game got rough because they, they kept getting threes, but the second half was much better. Um, and you know, I you, you see picks all game long that are illegal, and all of a sudden I got call that one. So um, you know, that, that was a tough one right there. Yeah, and I took that shot real early in the clock, and, and uh, but it was you know right in, and that, uh, that called that called foul. The crowd didn't well, even pick uh, up. I'm one. sure you know whether it was legal, legal illegal, uh, and guaranteed Dova Dova probably pulled Tyson. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the, the trick you watch these games on tape. He does it all the time. Um, uh, so you know, I guess that's a smart play. You know, he sucked at the guy into calling it. Uh, um, but you know, we were right there. And I was proud of the guys where they came out and uh, uh, play. We got to you know shore some things up. Uh, uh, there were some loose balls I thought we didn't weren't able to get uh, that we need to get if we want to win those games. And uh, uh, but overall, it, you know, it was pretty good. There were a couple times in the first half it looked like John was open from the three, and that's why a couple of players kind of told him to shoot it. Are you looking for him to be more aggressive out there and just go ahead and take that shot? Well, yeah, they already made one or two of them. So, <laughs> you know, when you make a couple of them, uh, you know, think that you keep firing away. Um, but, you know, John is John is pretty smart about when he takes it and he wants to make sure he's open and it's a good shot. Um, uh, you know, we told him that, you know, the guys we told him to shoot it, he shot the next one and made it. So, um, you know, he's, he's in at the four. We need, uh, we need that stretch four to, to help make some of those shots. Devin Booker took three shots in the first three minutes and made them all. It looked, you know, it looked great shooting, and then he didn't take another shot most of the first half. I think, uh, you know, what was was that a change on the defense on the Cavs part, or was that just Booker being unselfish? Well, um, you know, he's trying to make the right plays. There was a couple of them that, uh, you know, uh, tried to run for him, and, and they're a smart team. <laughs> you know, the guy just made a few shots. They're gonna try to blast through the screen and, and not let him get one off. So, uh, you know, I, I, I thought he made the right. Uh, uh, right play came off once and, and made a nice pass uh, to the open man, and you know, that's what we're looking for. What did you like out of TJ Warren tonight, specifically with his uh, three point shot? It looks like that's improved a lot this year. Yeah, he made the threes tonight. Um, uh, even that last one looked like it was going to be good. Uh, uh, so, you know, if he can continue to make that three, and uh, I thought he was aggressive going for rebounds. He got a couple offensive rings, got great hands. So, when he can get those balls tipped up there, and He'll continue to get better on the defensive end, uh, but you know that's that's what we think TJ can do for us. He can be that kind of scorer who uh, you know can can get you some buckets and, and drive a guy. And a lot of times that looks like a maybe a wild shot, but uh, well, that's that's like a normal shot for him. Uh, Ronnie Price had that toe uh, injury and looked like he was limping a lot out there, uh, but but he put out a lot of, a lot of great minutes. You needed those tonight as a backup point guard. Yeah, um, you know, we're debating the second time we're going to go with Bryce uh, and get Bryce in there. Uh, uh, throwing the show for a little bit. You know, uh, Ronnie's foot is, is really sore, uh, but Ronnie goes, no, I'm good, I'm good. So uh, that probably affected him on his shots a little bit. He probably didn't have the same push that he normally has. Uh, but again, Ronnie's activity out there is always a big win for us. When I hit that shot that you know was called off by the Chandler foul, the crowd was about as loud as it's been in weeks. As a coach, in the heat of the moment, do those kind of things stick out to you at all, or are you just kind of focused on winning? Yeah, yeah no, I think it's, uh, uh, again, uh, the fans have always been great to us, and, and they want us to do well. And uh, you know, I saw the guys playing hard and having a chance to win, and uh, uh, you know, they were into it for that reason. So. Uh, that, that, that's nice to see that they're, they're still behind the guys. In previous games, you talked about rotations and, and not helping so much to the middle. Do you think that team did a better job of that tonight? Um, you know, we'll have to look at the tape. I felt we overhelped uh, a little too much. You know, they got off 41 threes. So, <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, a lot of that is LeBron can be so good at getting to the basket. And, and you know, we limited his shots uh, uh, by doing that. But, you know, some of the other guys, I, I just thought that. Even though we we're helping, uh, again, one of the things we want to work on is closing out harder and getting the guys off the line. I thought some of our guys closed out a little short, uh, and, and uh, you know when you have Jr. 
Gus Smith out there and Kyrie and uh, Daryl Vidalik and you know, shoot 43%. Uh, you got to get all the way up. Uh, if you can see a clip, it might have been fourth quarter when Ronnie Price, uh, they threw it to the corner. He got up and he got into the guy's legs. You know, that's what we're trying to, trying to get him to do all the time. Yeah, they executed well. Um, you know, they uh, uh, they came off their you know, the practices we did the last couple of days. Let's run it through it. The guys, you know, if you go hard through your cuts, you're going to get some open stuff. You know, if you jog through things, uh, you know, it's tough. They're going to they're going to stop. You. But if you're running full speed and coming off there and, and making the next read, uh, you know, that's difficult to guard. And I thought our guys, Brandon and you know, uh, PJ. Both those guys really worked that side there uh, pretty well. Just one more encouraging night you had in a while for you. Well, it's still a loss, but uh, it's encouraging that the fact that you know, we're out, Eric. Uh, you know, you're out there you know, a lot of times with Alex and, and Devin uh, and TJ, you know, uh, some of our young guys. Uh, you know, that, that's a, a, a good effort. You can't fall back. Yeah, I think he hit his hand. Somebody slapped down on his hand. Uh, 